Hi there, in this video we'll talk about time tracking in Proofhub. With multiple teams working on multiple tasks, it becomes difficult to manually keep track of time spent by each individual user. Here you can create timesheets, set estimated hours, track time spent on tasks, compare the estimated time to the actual time logged, and export the time entries for easy billing of clients. Now let me show you how time tracking works in Proofhub. You can either use a timer or make a manual time entry. Time entries are made on the tasks and saved in this section. Now we'll begin by creating a timesheet. So let's click on the add timesheet option right here and let's give a name to the timesheet. Let's click on add and here the timesheet has been added. Now any time entry made in this project will be saved right here into this particular timesheet. You can also make multiple timesheets to segregate the time entries in the project. Now I'll make a time entry on a task. For that let's jump into the task section of the project and let's open a task. Now right here you get the add log time option. Click on it and here you get the option to choose a timer or you can track time manually. Now let's choose the timer option. Now as you can see, a timer has started on top of your task. You can also close the task and you can see the timer is still running for me on top. I can click on the timer to see all the active timers. I can pause a timer at any time and start a different timer for a different task. Now the next step is to save the time entry. For that, I can click on save time from right here or I can go back into the task. So let's open the same task and right here, you can see the timer is still running for me right here on top. So I'll click on this option and click on save time. Now in the add time window, I can select a timesheet in which the time entry will be saved. You can add some description. Select the status of the time entry. So let's select non-billable for now and manage the task details from right here. Click on add and that's it. The time entry has been stored. This way you can make multiple time entries and compare it with the estimated time for the task. You also get multiple other options to manage the time entries in the time section of the project. For example, you can filter out your time entries based on the filters available on top. You can also export the time entries into CSV format or into QuickBooks or FreshBooks. Hope this video was helpful. Do let us know if you have any questions and we will be happy to help.